Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on into Schwasty Studios, where today I'm going to be doing a completely different kind of video. This is not cooking, this is not music, this is not video gaming. The only reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like I just need to yell at something for a little while, and there's no one here to yell at. So I had an incredibly frustrating experience. I'm thinking one that you can all share in. I, I recently, this afternoon, went to the grocery store. Grocery stores usually aren't that bad, but there's a specific kind of grocery store that is the worst. And it's not because of the place, but it's the people. It is the other people there that constantly confound me that as, as an evolutionary creature, we have gotten this far without killing ourselves off in mass. Also, it's worth noting that there's going to be a lot of swearing in this video. I'm going to censor it all out. But if your ears are that virginal that you cannot take the fucking bleep that I just put there, you might want to turn this video off and don't show your kids. So in order to do this, we're going to get ourselves a handy little device to go along with it so I can actually illustrate what I'm talking about. So let's go and ta-da! Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, you're going to be able to see what I'm drawing down here, and I'm going to explain a couple things for you. So not all of them are going to need this little handy-dandy tool right here, but you know what? We're going to keep going. But first... Ah! Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Okay. First off, you get to this store. Now, I haven't said the name of the store, but I will say that it begins with a wall and ends with anger. You get to these, uh, th this store, and you're coming in, have yourself that lane right here, and we're also just gonna say, you know, these are all parking spots. Those are the parking spots. You can come down here, you can go through up there. So you got those two options. Here's the horrifying portion that even the most microbial creature should be able to understand. If you have a car or a truck that is roughly that big for the lane, maybe don't drive down the fucking center of it. No, 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 no. You stick to one side. You hug over here while you're going down. You make sure that maybe your side view mirrors are going to get fucking clipped. I want to be able to get through on the other side. That's right. There are other people that exist in the world besides your fucking truck. We're going to go ahead and go down here. But that's not the only issue with the parking lot. Say that you've, you know, come down here and you're still looking for your spot. Here's you and you're going through. And then you get people who are coming out. And usually they have like this little sidewalk thing that you can go right here. And these people decide that their car is right here. So they need to cross over here. There are a couple ways to do this. You can go up, go to the part where your car is going to be, jog over. That's the correct way. It's the right way to do it because you are taking up the median space for as little time as possible. The incorrect one that I seem to see all the fucking time, they're going down and they don't even use the sidewalk. They're like, pick two points, point one in their car, and do a diagonal motion there. This is for cars! This is for cars! You know the things that weigh multiple tons? The things that could go 100 miles an hour? The things that could easily run you over? Sustain as little damage as possible? That is... How do you not get this? I mean, it's basic concept. It is bigger than you. You should let it go. So congratulations, you have made it. You have parked without either killing anybody or being killed. You now have to make it. You're right here. And there's other lanes and shit like But here is the gates and you have to make it to the big front door right there. You can either go over here where is the produce section, you can hang out in here where a bunch of people are smoking meth, but you need to make it from here to here. You're, you're hugging along the side, and then you decide to cut over. The issue being that there are other people who are making you look like an asshole. If you get right here and there are cars back and forth through here, you wait. You wait for a clearing. You don't step out. But as soon as you start waiting right there, and then you see someone come up behind you, they'll just walk right out. Now, you are given a choice here. Just kind of watch them and shake your head and be like, yeah. Or you can actually join in with them, and you can cut down on your time, and you can cut down on everybody else's waiting time. But here's the thing. Every time you do that and you follow that person, you look up and you see someone in that car window glaring at you like you just sh on the hood of their car. There is no way to win that. You can't win it. You cannot win it. Cannot win. No win. That's upside down. I hate this place. The next portion is not necessarily, this is not the people. We don't, we, we don't need this for a second, so it's just you and me for a second. Why is it that every time you go into the store and there's grocery carts, I know there's that age-old joke about like, oh, every time you pick one, it's the wobbly one, but it's f***ing true! How is that a thing? Do these people not have maintenance repairmen for grocery carts on standby? Is that a job occupation? Are they hiring? Can I go? There, there's, there's, a, there's a list of heroes on this planet. You got your doctors, you got your veterinarian, and you know what? Now you have cart maintenance men at grocery stores to make sure that you're not looking like an <laughs> that one wheel that's screaming bloody murder like it's just escaped the seventh circle of hell. Now, we've made it into <laughs> We have a cart, albeit sh uh, The store is actually pretty well laid out for everything. We're gonna go like this uh, for a top-down view. You have your main thing right there. And then you've got like all the checkout stands and shit. This is your main hub. 
You can either hug the wall over here. You can go into like the kitchen and dining section. You can go into the clothing section. Or you can do the food section over here. And these, ladies and gentlemen, are our highways. These are our most important arteries. These are for fast travel. You stick to one side, and that's usually the right side. You keep on going. Seems like an easy enough concept to not screw up. And I will give it that there are certain obstacle courses sometimes during these arteries where there will be little displays in the middle here. And that's kind of like a divisive double yellow line. Do not cross. Don't turn here. Also, don't just mob down the f***ing center. It's a dual-edged sword. It's there to serve a purpose, and sometimes a lot of people don't understand. The main purpose of a highway or an artery is to make sure that one thing gets from one point to the other as quickly and safely as possible. Here is the issue. When we start going down the societal breakdown, people who don't understand the whole right lane, left lane thing, you'll get some who's coming down this way going against traffic. Now, I know this is mirrored in the camera right here. When you start going against the flow of traffic, you're causing traffic jams. And I know this sounds kind of stupid uh, talking about, like, shopping carts, but guess what? It happens. Those shopping carts, especially if you got one of the things with the little displays there, you can't easily fit two side by side. I'm a cart master. I am a cart pro. I can drift that motherfucker all along. I can wheelie it, and I can probably pick it up over my head and throw it over to the next aisle where I need it to be. But that's not appropriate. You can't be drifting shopping carts, so you have to play the rules. If you try and pass Ask someone and you leave this much room? Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna look like an But guess what? So do you, the person who is walking one quarter of a mile per hour. If you are walking super slow along here, I can't get around you. I'm either gonna have to go awkwardly into the lingerie section and keep my head down and pretend like I'm not gonna fucking look at anything, or I can go in and do the thing and go against the flow of traffic just because you can't fucking move at the pace of speed. So there's that. There's that issue right there. But those are our arteries. So those are like the average American artery, congested and probably crusty and about ready to fall apart. We now have our capillaries. These aisles are much more frequent. They go along horizontally, uh, and those are where, I mean, if you're talking, we'll just use the food section as an example. This is where pretty much all of your food is. These aisles are a lot smaller, so you can't get away with the same dumb bullshit that you can be getting away with on these main arteries. You, you can't get away with that. But people still try. We're going to get a, we're going to get a pissing me off. Okay, so we're gonna blow this up quite a bit because previously we saw an artery. Those, those look pretty big. Now this, in reality, we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a scale here. So this is one aisle. This is, we're, we'll use the pasta aisle. We're gonna use the pasta aisle with all the sauces <laughs> and everything as an example. The cart size is about like that. The person size is about like that. This is an approximation of size. And no, I'm not, hey, let's give it some arms. The average American, I mean, would probably look a little bit more like that. We got someone who's just mobbing down the aisle. They're doing okay. They are hugging the wall. They're looking, they're looking over at, you know, the different kind of pasta sauces. They're figuring out which one has more fucking sodium. He's okay. We're going to give him a little star. Good on you, dude. Then further down, you have another issue. You have the famous couple who just got done smoking meth. Maybe have 12 teeth between the two of them. And they are in this aisle like this. Are you ready for this? Oh, there's the cart. It's, it's diagonal. It's a little diagonal in the middle there. Here is, and we're going to give them the good old American treatment. Here is the missus trying to figure out which brand of pasta to buy. And then we got Bubba Jim over here. How do you get through that? How do you? Look, 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 look. This is the cart right here. There is not enough room to get through there. There's done. So what do you do? Try and move Bubba Jim over here and say, excuse me, sir, could you possibly moor yourself over to the other side? Just kind of push your way through and nudge the cart. You tell the woman who has three male names as her first name, like Billy Joe John, to get the, to move the f*** out of the way? I don't know what to do in this situation. Usually I just hang back right around here and pretend like I'm looking at pizza crusts. I'll just hang back and wait until they figure out which box they're gonna buy. This is an issue. This is an issue. Don't do that. Another common problem that we run into, you've got the person who is interested in something over here. These people are getting fatter and fatter, and I apologize. So you got someone who is interested in something over here, but leaves their cart over here. That is getting closer to right, because you are still hugging the walls. You are leaving a, a, a line of passage possible. The best thing possible for the rest of humanity in this grocery section, you keep to the side that you are examining, minimizing the congestion of traffic down one of these capillaries. He is not good, but he is better than this. Now, this one is going to be a very specific example. We will give this person the benefit of the doubt, even though they usually des don't deserve it. We will say that their car hanging out on the side here. They're looking at something right here. Gold star for you, my man. If you weren't followed around by your 13 children because you can't figure out what a condom is. And yes, I drew a lot more circles than 13. This is what it feels like right here. This is what it feels like trying to move your happy ass all the way through here to make sure that you don't knock anyone the f*** out. And they're all like waist high. So it's easy to just bump a little noggin once and again, and you don't don't even know it. Where am I going with this? Anyway.
Keep your fucking kids under control. Oh my god. There before the grace of God you go because all of a sudden you find yourself with a full cart and you are making your way towards the checkout. Praise be, hallelujah, this nightmare is almost f***ing over. You're making way to the front of the store where all the checkout lines are. We're going to do another aisle, but this one is going to be like that main hub that we talked about before. So you come down here. Now, if the other things that we were talking about were arteries, this is like a coronary, man. This, this, is, this is the tree trunk of the, of the thing. Everything else is just branches. This is to ensure that there's a free flow of traffic that we've talked about before. And yet, some people manage to f*** it up still by just congregate. I, I don't know what it is. I do not know what this portion of it is. Maybe it's just because of the probability of running into someone else that you know. There are always hangouts here. People decide to congregate right here, including employees! Including employees that wear the yellow vests that I've never seen do a goddamn thing. There was one employee in my local... I have seen many, many times, but I've never seen her actually do anything other than just talking and like, haha, I think I've seen her out smoking more often than anything. This is unacceptable. If you are going to congregate, do it. Like, go go over to the awkward lingerie section. Go over there. I don't want to have to run through you, over you, by you, under you, anywhere. I don't want to have to deal with you. If you're just talking, oh my god, did you see what Marsha said at work on Thursday? I don't give a f Go away. You are not supposed to be here. You are not supposed to be here. Go literally anywhere else. You would be doing less damage if you were literally anywhere in this store but right here. This is exhausting. This is, this is absolutely exhausting. You think you've made it? You think you've made it, but you're only in the parking lot. This is the building. Whoa, we're gonna we're gonna a little happy here. Let's okay. So you got this right here. That's the you parked right here. Cross the traffic and look like an. <laughs> make sure that we actually go all the way up and then cross over instead of doing that weird diagonal bull thing. But then good luck backing out because no one is gonna fucking let you. I literally saw a couple weeks ago. So story time. I'm walking to my car and I see two cars backing out at the same time. Like they're on opposite ends, so they're kind of backing towards each other. And then car one, which is a nice looking Land Rover, like must have just passed out over the horn because it's laid on it. <laughs> So other car, which is a shitty little minivan, pulls back into its spot, Land Rover backs up, pulls forward a little bit, minivan backs up and pulls forward. Land Rover guns it in reverse and starts screaming out the window at the minivan. What the f*** do you think you're doing? Threatens to kick their ass. Now I'm walking, and the only way that I can get to my car is walking between the way that they position themselves. Me feeling a little bit self-righteous that day, I, I just said, dude, let it go. As I walked between. Bad mistake, but because he started f***ing screaming at me, started getting in my face. I was on foot, so I just kept walking. Walked over to my car, and I see Land Rover... Take off speeding. He made it out without hitting anybody or anything. And as I'm done loading my groceries into the trunk of my car, I close it and I look over and here's Land Rover dude out of his car with an aluminum baseball bat over his head, charging like a f***ing samurai out into the middle of nowhere. Booking across here as fast as he can, samurai style. I don't know where he was going. I didn't see minivan anywhere. There was nobody around there. There was no cars or anything. I hopped up on the trunk of my car, just kind of propped up there. And I was looking her over, just like, what the f*** is going to happen? He got winded right about here. Took a knee for a second, just kind of squatted, stood up, looked around, looked over his shoulder, took the bat, and I shit you not, took a few practice swings like he was just out there having a gay old time, and then meandered back to his car. These are people that exist. This is evolution. Somehow, I don't, I don't know how this came to be. I don't know how this came to pass, that this is an acceptable rule of law, or that we have this alternate dimension at a, at a place that everyone needs to go at some point in their lives, that we can operate on these arbitrary rules, like it's the fucking medieval times. I've said my piece. I've said my piece. I hope that it's reached at least one of you. I hope that maybe if one of you is like, oh yeah, I do leave my cart diagonal sometimes. Maybe you'll stop doing that. Alternatively, send this video to one of your friends who's guilty of doing that. Thank you for coming along with me on that emotional roller coaster. If you like this video, like, share, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of other stuff. There's recipes and shit if you want to check out my channel. T-shirts at 25. Have a great night. Yeah, boy.